Hello, I'm I Can't Believe It's Not Ozzy Osbourne from Black Sabbath tribute band Sabbath Disciples. Welcome to Conversations with a Madman, where I interview notable figures in hard rock and heavy metal music. Today's guest is legendary Led Zeppelin frontman Robert Plant. Mr. Plant has been a tireless musical adventurer, refusing even the lure of untold wealth to follow his muse. Robert, great to see you. Welcome to the show. Do you remember how long ago it was that we first met? Definitely more, man. Way more. Oh, man, I feel the same way, mate. Do you remember that time we had the sleepover in my room at the Chateau Marmont? Thanks to you, I'm much obliged. We got absolutely shit faced. And though I held we drank a thousand times. You got that right, mate. I've told this story many times. Many is the word that only leaves you kissing. Against your father's thing. You really ought to know. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't keep track of how many times I've told a story from the 70s. I'm Aussie fucking Osborne. I'm lucky I can even remember how the story goes. Mine's a tale that can't be told. My freedom I hold dear. Well, I'm pretty sure the statute of limitations is up on that, man. If Bill Cosby is still walking around, I don't think you have anything to worry about from a little red snapper. So, Robert, what's a typical day like for you? Every day I work so hard, bringing home my heart and pain. You are a hard-working guy, that's for sure. So hard, yes, you've made that point already. You, you put in the long hours. Working from seven to eleven here and there. Okay, you realize that's only a four-hour shift. <laughs> Isn't going to kill anyone. I don't think that's right. Well, try being a medical resident. Those guys work some long, bloody shifts. Sometimes, literally. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That was funny. Sharon laughed so hard she cried when I said that to her. Sarcastic much? Sheesh! Anyway, you've seen a lot of Led Zeppelin tribute bands. Which one is the best? Hey, they're my favorite too! We're going to do a show with them January 16th at the Chrome in Omaha. What would you say to anyone who hasn't seen them yet? Right on! What did you do when you saw them? Sing along. Oh. That is very high praise, man. What is your favorite song that they do? Stairway to heaven. Yeah, they really do that one well. Hey, you're just saying that because you're sick of singing that song yourself, and you'd rather they did it so you don't have to. Which I get. <laughs> So how are things between you and Jimmy Page? You are dedicated to going forward and not back. I have to admire you for that, man. Say, John Paul Jones thanked you at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for finally remembering his phone number. I take it he calls you now and then. I can hear it calling me the way it used to do. Well, that's good, man. That's good. It's the same with me and Giza. You gotta keep up with your old mates, eh? So you've had a long and storied career. What's left for you to do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's really not necessary. We probably better be wrapping this up. 
Uh, yeah, I think I kind of do. This isn't one of those Mick Jagger, David Bowie things, man. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Anyway, this is I Can't Believe It's Not Ozzy Osbourne from Sabbath's Disciples saying good night, pleasant nightmares, and I'll see you all on Saturday, January 16th at the Chrome Lounge in Omaha, Nebraska. Join me and the rest of Sabbath's Disciples, along with The Song Remains the Same, a tribute to the mighty Led Zeppelin, as we throw the biggest pre-Black Sabbath party in town! Close the door, put out the light. Seriously, man, forget about it. Not happening. Dude! Thank you.